Hello viewers, uh, this is going to be the second rendition of rewiring this vintage General Electric Mortal X fan that I have here. Uh, when I put the this core down here, this I forgot that I was going to use it for a different project. So I'm going to take it off and I'm going to replace it with <clears throat> this core that I have. This is a replica cloth wire cord. I'm going to put that on here instead, which is more like what it would have originally had anyways. So the plug I'm using is this plug here. This is a basic General Electric non-polarized plug. You can get these for about a dollar or two at the local hardware store. Uh, the way you assemble these is you put the second part on the cord and then you attach the uh, wire to the prongs and you, it all snaps together. So I'll do that here. Um, so what you want to do is you want to put the if it's a stranded wire you want to make sure the strands are all together and you want to put a hook in the wire like this now it's very important that you put the hook in the direction you turn the screw to tighten it. So in this case you turn the screw you know, to the right to tighten it. So you want the hook to be facing to the right this way when you tighten the screw where it doesn't come undone. So I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to put it just like that and I'm going to tighten this up here. And I will do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so now the uh, wires are in there, attach the prongs, and I'm going to take the plug and uh, just pull it over here. There's two clips on the side, which will hold it into place. These are a little bit hard to get on. Okay, that side's in. Okay, now both sides are in. So that's that's all set on that end. Now let's get into the fan and I'll put it, uh, get the wire inside the fan. So, put this back upright for the moment. And I will undo the screws. Okay, now we should be able to remove the base. Set that aside. And I'll try to adjust this <clears throat> at the best angle possible so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, that should be about good. It's going to be annoying. Okay, so I'm going to begin by undoing the wires for the main connections. So 
I used two different wire nuts last time. That's going to drive me nuts. Let's see if I can find two that are the same. Okay, take that off, and then I do have to undo a single screw over here to get off the ground wire. Okay, and I'll tighten that back up because I won't be using ground anymore, so I don't need to do that. Now, I had put the uh, tape-based strain relief on here. I am just going to take that off for the purpose of I don't need it. Actually, you know what? Can I get it off now? Yeah, I'll take it off later. Not worried about that, doing that on video anyways. Okay, so now I can finish my other product with that cord I was originally intended for. Now, the new cord, I'm going to slide in through here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the knotting method here to get the strain relief in place. So I'm just going to tie a knot in here like that, which will just prevent this from being able to be uh, pulled out. So now I will strip the wire. And I believe this is 18 gauge, but I'm going to go down all the way to 20 gauge just because it's difficult to strip this uh, cloth sometimes. So technically, I've got two layers of insulation on it. you got the cloth, and then you have the actual um, whatever it is rubber, something or other. I don't know. In case anybody's interested where this wire came from, this is sundial wire. I've used it on many different projects and I've had very good results with it. It's built of a very nice quality and I like it. And I would definitely recommend it for other uh, people interested in doing restoration projects like this or with anything else. Alright, so now I will uh, make the connections here. And I'm actually going to refresh these connections because that's kind of shoddy. It's just so big it doesn't even fit in the in the strippers here. Okay, that's not going to be enough. I believe this might have been the original wire. I'm not sure if it was originally cloth or not. I would think it is, but um, this wire is definitely made by GE if it's not uh, the original because this, I've seen this wire on the box fans. And not to mention, it looks like it's pretty much the same color as this fan. Although, I am relatively colorblind, so maybe I'm not seeing it right. Okay. Now, when you're making these connections, you want to make sure that the wire is about the same length. The stripped part anyways. Um, it's about an eighth of an inch off. I'm not going to worry about that. Same here. Actually, it's pretty much pretty good. So, that's uh, plenty adequate. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the wire nuts back on here. Just give that a little bit of a turn there. You know what, let me see if I have another one of these nuts, which is identical. See the one that's in there. And it would appear as though I don't. No, I may somewhere else, but I'm not going to worry about it. No, I'll find one later, maybe. Okay, that still like says making a good connection there. Gonna kind of stuff that behind there like that, and um, 
ideally at some point what I will do is I will get a rubber grommet to put in that hole there so that the wire is not scraping up against the metal. Um, it's not sharp like I've seen on some other ones, but it certainly be a good idea to get the grommet on there. So I'll do that eventually, but uh, not a critical thing for now. Fitting these wires in here is always kind of a little finicky. Alright, this should be good there. Okay, now last time this was interesting getting the base back on because the holes are not evenly spaced, so it has to go on a certain way. Um, it's not that way. I think it's this way. this way. And this is still giving me a little bit of trouble with it. Okay. Probably would help if we had more proper screws to use with this, but uh, I don't for the moment, anyways. Yeah, I'm gonna pause this video. Okay, so now the wire's on there. Let's readjust the uh, base here. Okay, let's uh, give it a test. And we'll plug it in over here. Um, no, I guess I can't plug in got all the Christmas lights are there. I think it's in the wolf position here. Hopefully it is. Well, yes, either it is or it's not wired right. All right, let's do first speed. Second speed, third speed, off. Okay, that is working. And the reason why I turned it off so quickly because this was going to get sucked up in there. So, all right, well, there you have it. So that's been rewired. Um, I think this cord looks much better on there, anyways. And uh, it's a fair bit longer, too. It's about probably five, four or five feet. Now, yeah. Definitely five, yeah. No one more. Okay, well that's it. Thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe, and out.